All right, it's September 1st. We're on board Nail It Again off the coast of Fort Lauderdale with David and Ray and Nancy Mallory. And we're going to catch us some lobster for dinner tonight. Jacques Cousteau. Father of Jacques Cousteau. Oh, hello. That would be you. Don't worry, friends and family. We wouldn't let him wear the Speedo. All right, show us how it's done. See you in a second. So David's over the side. I follow shortly afterwards. We're diving right over some sand where we're hoping to find some lobster tracks. Uh, we get down the bottom and don't see any lobster right away. We do run into this uh, nice sea turtle who lets us uh, hang out with him for a little while just cruising along the floor. You can see how terrible the visibility is down there. It's just like swimming in soup. Uh, very little rock formation where we're diving because we're trailing the literally trailing the tracks of lobsters that have run out in the morning hundreds and hundreds maybe thousands of them we did run across this really beautiful spotted sea snake pretty unusual in my experience off the coast of florida uh, but fun nonetheless eventually we do follow a trail into a sort of a pile of rocks not a pretty reef and the water is still terrible as you can see but these guys are just sitting right out in the open probably they were in the big run and uh, just got lost or decided they wanted to spend the rest of the summer in Fort Lauderdale, hard to say. One way or the other, the three of them sat out in the open and uh, weren't quite sure what to make of this. So David makes fast work of number one, gets him uh, in the snare, measures him, gets him in the bag, and uh, I hang out here and both film the last two, but also I'm kind of forming a blockade so that they can't go where they want to go, which is towards where I'm seated or laying down on the ground, actually. So then he comes in, grabs number two, who's butt up against the rock, as you can see. Does it perfect again and uh, gets him right where he needs to. You can see how terrible the visibility is. Uh, on one of the dives, David and I went down and literally tied rope between us uh, because it was ridiculous for us to be only, you know, five to ten feet apart from each other. And if we got lost, that was it, man. We were never going to be able to get in touch again, so we grabbed the length of rope to to combat that problem and allow us to cover some more ground at the same time. So here's number three. He knows uh, something's wrong, so he kind of gets in between these two. I block him off again. Rake, um, David comes in with the snare, another perfect snare, only this time David forgets that just because you got him in the snare doesn't mean you got him in the bag. And so while he loosens the snare, number three takes off. And uh, fortunately, we bird dog him and David grabs him right away. Gets a real good grip on him this time. You can see that number three's lost his antenna in the scuffle. And David uh, brings him back and gives him a little scolding for trying to sneak away from David the lobster hunter. And now we come in here, and uh, this one's actually me demonstrating some particular stupidity. I'm diving with a snare I know breaks on me from time to time, but I just never get around to fixing it. So here I come in, I got the snare all the way around that lobster and he walks right out because I can't close it. I get it around him again. He walks right out again. I get it around him a couple more times. Um, I literally am sitting here playing hockey with him for a while while I'm trying to fix the top of my snare so I can grab him. At one point, I think this is stupid. I'll just use the snare as a tickle stick. I'll get the net and I'll, I'll get him in the net. And what does he do? He walks right in my snare again. Walks uh, in between a rock. I finally get the snare back open. Doesn't mean I can close it, but at least it's open. David lends a helping hand. I get the snare around him for about a year, and eventually I get it closed and uh, grab him. I don't think I've ever had a snare around a lobster, what was that, six times without closing the deal. So he's not a big guy. I want to make sure he's uh, good to go. So we'll throw him on the measuring stick, and sure enough, he is dinner. So we'll get him in the bag, get back on that lobster trail, and see if we can't find some more. Of course, all of this uh, lobster work can make you tired, so David finds an abandoned lounge chair sitting in the middle of the sand, probably blew out in some hurricane or bad storm, so we took a quick rest there. We get on our way again, again, not a pretty part of the coast, bad water, bad bottom, we run across another turtle. That one was an older turtle and uh, a little bit larger, though you couldn't quite tell in the picture. They're just fun to be, really cool to see. Get another lobster 
Uh, again, you can see we're not really near a reef. We're just some abandoned rocks hanging out. That one that David just got was one that I pointed out to him. And then when he swam over to see it, the water was so murky, he points out these two that were behind me. I didn't even see them. And this one's kind of funny because David grabs uh, lobster number two. And while he's measuring it, lobster number three, just like we saw before, number three thinks this is not maybe a great idea. So I grab my broken snare and I just really set up a wall. I'm just trying to hold him there until David gets back. And look what this lobster does. This lobster locks right into my loop snare. Of course, I don't have my hand on anything except the camera in the middle of the snare, but I decided, I wonder if I can shoot it and catch him, and what do you know? I did. I actually got him with that crazy broken snare. Hand it off to David real fast so he doesn't get away. He measures it. It fits, and that means dinner. Stuff it in the bag, and let's get back on the road. And here we are again. Another one out in the open. Um, almost swam by it because the water was so murky. Uh, but David gets on in there and gets behind him and does another perfect snare. Grabs him and as you can uh, imagine, David's not going to be letting any more go at this point. So we run out of air and we need something to eat too. So let's go topside, get back on the boat. That was a great dive. Thanks for watching.